Yo, 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 Box Chevy family. It's your boy, Box Chevy P. We back again with another one. I'm going to make this fast and sweet. I got to um, get these seats out. As y'all can see in the title, I'm about to get ready to take this interior to uh, Illinois. So I got to go take all this stuff to Diego. I got most of the stuff out already as far as the seats. Um, got all the door panels off. I got the rear seat out, the, the bottom part where you sit on. Got the uh, door panels out, upper and lower which I'm not sure, I don't think I'm gonna reuse these lower ones. I think I'm gonna go ahead and order the other ones that's already black with the two speakers in each door. So I'm probably not gonna reuse the lower door panels. I'm gonna still take them to them just in case I got the upper over there. And then you already know the seats is already out because these are the ones I'm using. So I'm using these Camaro seats. So I'm gonna have to get these through in the back of the truck. And like I said, I'm gonna get them rewrapped. Everything going back black. I'm getting these ugly ass. I don't know why they got these on the corner, but them got to come off and then i'm getting getting the seats redone so y'all see like i said just stay tuned i'm finna get in this car pull this back seat out and i gotta pull the side and the panels out i'll show y'all right quick i was out here messing with the thing a couple of days ago just out here test fitting all the little stuff the overflows the uh, reservoirs you know that small shit make a big difference this right here seems to be hitting the hood so i'm gonna check this out and see exactly what i gotta do because some of this might need to be trimmed because it's how i sit it don't sit flush like the one on the Caprice. And this right here is in a kind of a different spot. So it's further back right here. So it kind of hit this. So I got to figure out a way to put that flush. But some of this definitely going to have to get trimmed off of there. But it's going to look like a brand new car under the hood. But I was just test fitting the radiator, the brackets and stuff. Just seeing what it looked like. But here I go talking again. Let me get this shit started. I'm about to get this stuff up out of here. You know, I see I got a lot of stuff poured down. We're going to stop by uh, Mark II and check out the motor. But uh, he got the, he had to get some more stuff. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But I had pulled everything down just so I can have everything down here so we can start assembling everything. A couple more things still up on the shelf. But like I said, everything is brand new. Just was checking everything out, getting it together. This thing finna look real good, though, man. Y'all stay tuned for sure. But, um, yeah, I got to like I like mine clean under the hood. Like I said, I don't know. Um, I cringe when I see somebody do an LS swap and they don't clean under the hood and paint under there when they just put a motor in to each his own. But for me, I like to, uh, I like my shit to look real clean under the hood. You know, I just like my super clean under the hood. I just don't like that crispy motor in there. Then they look all dusty around. I like my shit to look dark, blacked out, cleaned up. You know, I sand everything down, make it look real nice and neat. So when you put that motor in there, pop out. That's just my preference. But for the people who do, Put the motors in and don't uh paint and all that stuff. That's that's y'all. But me, I like my shit to look neat. But I'm gonna set y'all up on this tripod. I'm finna start getting this stuff about the car and I cut y'all back on when we on the road. Let's go. See, I got everything out of here that needed to come out. Let me get a flashlight. Too damn big to be climbing this little ass car. Y'all see, I got the back seat out, armrest. All this trim that y'all see, I'm painting this black. So all that's gonna be like a semi-gloss black, all the burgundy trim. And I'm not gonna worry about the roof getting done. I actually need to take these visors out too. So they can get wrapped. I'm not gonna worry about the roof though, but um, when I get the sunroof put in, they automatically put a new headline in there with you, with it. So I'm good to go on the sunroof, on the headliner. So let me get this, these two visors out of here, and then I'll be good to go. And we can load this stuff all up in the truck. Here it is, the back seat. Where's the top part? Back armrest. And then these little inserts right there. <clears throat> I'm going to get that wrap back factory looking. And um, yeah, so let me get these visors out and then we're going to get up out of here, load the stuff in the truck and we're going to hit the highway. Got everything loaded up, strapped down, strapped super tight. Got an hour and a half ride. Got to make sure everything is in there and it ain't flying off the back. Then I got the little light pieces in here because these parts will fly off the back of the truck. So I'm going to get ready to go. So I'm on the freeway headed to Diego right now. Um, 
Should be there in about an hour, hour and a half. So I'm gonna roll, I can't be on this camera. Got the old lady with me. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cut y'all back on when I get there, so hold tight. drinking plenty of water had to run to the bathroom first but I'm in here I'm gonna run around to the front holler at him chop some numbers and we're gonna go from there but we here man time to get that uh interior a1 you know stay tuned y'all don't want to miss it man he got that work out here I miss my box Chevys I will be getting another one soon very very soon G-Body Malibu. Another big boy on 28s. This one's here last time. If, if you get time to do it. Which one? Which are the uh, orange one right here? Everybody got the SS seats. So what you welded these brackets to the floor? Yeah, I got three of them. Oh, really? Yep. What is these 32s, 34s on here? 32s. They look big as hell. You just did this interior too, didn't you? Yeah. No, bro, this is the car. I'll just use those with the light in, in, inside the. This one got an LED in it? Yeah. That's something new right there. The Which one? Oh, okay, the Camaro seat. Yeah, so this light up the whole thing? Yeah, let me get on. Uh, As y'all can see, y'all see he, he cold with that stitching. It's detailed. That's why I, I, I come out here to get it done. because the Stitching just looks so much better. But look at those. Those Camaro seats, too. Those just out of a newer Camaro. But, yeah. These going to look good when we pick them back up. To see the detail in it. You say you, yeah, you keep the uh, what them some what kind of Frenchies is those? Oh, uh, they fluffy. Fluffy, I see. Yeah. Let me stop for I get y'all to jumping up I, out of there. I got a, a giveaway going on with the fluffy too. Oh, for the puppies? Yeah, I got a. I got yeah, you gotta a, tap me when you're doing them. Let me know too, so I can share them. I'm gonna show it today. Okay. Uh, when we draw in the. With, uh, it's another box Chevy, they everywhere. Panels. Right. I'm going to show the dogs today. So they might win a, a nice profit. It's worth like $15,000. Right. So yeah, I know they worth some money. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this will look good. Got the billets. This will look real, real mean. See, look at that detail. That's what you did this console too? Yeah. Yeah, that look good in there. Up too. Oh yeah, that look good. Look at the stitching. That's why I say it's about that detail, man. The detail, that's that's what win. 
Did you do did door panels too? Door panels, the top, whatever you see ready here. Oh, so you did the top too? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, he look mean. Diego ain't no joke. I told y'all, y'all better tap in, man. That's why I drove out here. I got plenty of people in the city that do interior. I came all the way to see my boy. He gonna get you together for sure. And he don't play no games. He working around the clock. We even sold the, the, the billets too. Oh, you got him the wheels too? Yeah, this, this wheels. Uh, so, oh, so you been getting wheels lately too? Yeah, we okay. been getting them. Yeah, I didn't know. I know you was doing the grill. I didn't know you was messing with the wheels. This yeah. thing definitely mean. Can't wait to hit the streets of mine. Got you. What's, well, Diego, what's your YouTube channel? Stitching by Diego. Stitching by Diego, because I'm going to yeah. tag it in here. Yeah, so for everybody, because it's going to be a thousand questions, so I'm going to tag you in there so they can, y'all hit him up. Y'all got any questions or want to do some business, y'all hit him up. He do good business. Like I said, I done came to see him already, so y'all know how it go. But if y'all need to get in touch with him, I'm going to put all his information in the video, and y'all hit him up. And y'all go from there. Yep. But well, we good to go. If you figure out what is that material, just give me a call and uh, before you, you know, if you find it, and then we go from there. Sounds good. But we good to go. I appreciate you too, Diego. All right, All right see you in a minute for sure. So just left Diego's shop, as y'all can see. Um, for the head bag, man, I'm gonna actually go get me something to eat. I'm gonna stop at Papa Dolls on my way back to the crib. Me and my girl actually had to stop gas up. She in the gas station, so. I'm about to uh, yeah, stop, give me something to eat, and then um, I'm going to the crib from there. But y'all stay tuned, man. Like I said, if you watching this video too, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We finna go crazy with this Monte Carlo. Y'all know I'm a box Chevy guy, but I'm gonna go crazy with the Monte Carlo. Anything I do, man, y'all know I'm gonna do it the right way. So this and the, the car is actually growing on me. I was putting a little work into it, but then after I got more and more done, it's starting to look like I want it to look. So it's gonna really be, it's gonna be a hit for sure. So y'all stay tuned. Like I said, we got more coming. We got more box Chevys coming to the channel. Y'all mark my words when I tell y'all that, man. I keep telling y'all because that's what it's going to be. Just stay tuned. Y'all know I don't ever let y'all down. We finna do it again. We're going to build another hard-ass box Chevy on the channel. And it's going to be a two-door. I'm not buying another LS. I'm buying a two-door or a Landau. More than likely to be the Landau. But we're going to go crazy. Y'all stay tuned. You don't want to miss it, man. Right. There you go, ma'am. Pregnant mama. There you go.